Hey Crystal, it's Scott Walker. I hope your day's going well for you. I just wanted to go over a few tips and tricks for you to show you what an online presence can do for you and your company. Um, there's four things that I kind of want to go over today. And the first one, you know, obviously to, to have an online presence, you most likely would need a website. And I mean, I see that you're here on Facebook, which is great, but problem is, you know, you haven't posted in a couple of years, which is totally fine. It, I mean, I understand people get busy, but the fact that, you know, you don't have anything updated here would be a first thing uh, other than getting a website itself. But the other thing that I would recommend is getting content on your website once that is actually up and running for you. Um, and you want to have like 1500 to 2000 words to show Google that you're an authority in the particular field that you're talking about. Um, and that also depends on your competition and number of keywords. And keywords are uh, anything that someone might type into Google looking for a particular service or product. And an example of a keyword is, you know, plumbing Ogden right here. And you can place this in your content uh, throughout to tell Google exactly what terms you want your website found for. Uh, so, you know, when we do type in plumbing Ogden right here, you do get your Google guaranteed services, which they have a high conversion rate and also um, Google will back them financially. These are more expensive than the Google ads right here. Um, and a lot of the times these are only a three to 5% uh, conversion rate. So, I mean, they are cheaper though, so it depends on which one you want. But this right here is really where you wanna be. Um, it's called the Google Map Pack or Google Business Profile. And the reason you want to be here is about 40% of traffic stops right here. Um, if you're not on this right in the Google Map Pack, then you're losing out on 40% of the online traffic that people are looking for just for this particular one keyword. You can have a bunch of different keywords about different services you do. You know, if you do uh, HVAC, uh, heating and air, as long as you have those associated with uh, your location or locations that you work, that's the best way to have those keywords together, like, you know, plumbing Ogden, HVAC Ogden, uh, heating and air Ogden. Those are all considered keywords that you would want throughout your content. And so getting here, um, it, you know, if you do your Google ads or services up here and then being up here in the Google map pack and then being down here ranked in the organic section, if you're all over the first page of Google, you'll get a lot of more online traffic and leads that way. Um, just for an example, this right here is um, your, you know, number one competitor in the in the map pack. And uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to have this up. Uh, but this is their website right here. And this, what I'm showing you right now, is just an extension. It's called SEO Quakes. Um, all it does is tell me how many words they have on their homepage. And so, I mean, if you got your website up and running and then you have, um, you know, more content and more keywords um, in here, then, you know, you'd start to outrank them because Google thinks that you're more of, a, of an authority than them. The other thing is um, you could also save pictures and videos as keywords. So see, this one's done correctly. Plumber, Ogden, Utah, Mike Bachman. Um, usually you want them without the underscore there, but I mean, that's an example of how you could have another keyword in without, you know, having it inside your content. And you could do that with all the pictures and videos. And then the last thing I want to go over is kind of the backlinks and the reason why all of this is important. Um, this right here is Arif's. It's a paid for tool that I use. If you were to implement this strategy yourself, you wouldn't have to go through and, and purchase this tool. There are free backlink checkers out there. But I use it because it uh, tracks a bunch of stuff for me and there's a lot of different features that I use for my work. But I do want to go over these few things with you. <clears throat> the first thing is the, the UR rating and the DR rating. The UR rating is like the strength that you have in Google's eyes. And then this right here is the strength of your backlinks or the popularity contest. And a backlink is anywhere you find one website linking to another with a hyperlink or a clickable button. And these links act like endorsements um, from your website for, for which Google uses to build trust in your business by seeing others vouching for you. Like I said, it's a giant popularity contest with the most um, people having other websites refer back to them win. And so 
one thing you do want to take into consideration, I mean, they have 846 backlinks. Not all backlinks are created equal. So staying within your industry or local websites uh, have the most power for you. So, you know, if you had, say you had 900 of these backlinks and you just go through and just try and be on all the same ones that they are and then add some more, that's how you would start ranking above them. Um, the other thing is they do have 179 keywords and that is bringing them 895 uh, people to their website each and every month. And a lot of the times about 10% of people are buyer intent, which means they want to purchase a product or service that you are offering with the with this organic traffic. So at that, that's about 90 people per month that are ready to buy. And if your conversion is uh, kind of industry standard, anywhere from 30 to 50%, you're looking at, um, you know, about 30 to 50 new clients each and every month just from their online presence. I'm not sure what your margins are, but I imagine that will generate some pretty decent revenue. And also, you, I mean, they have 180 keywords. You can uh, rank for many different types of services. Uh, and like I said, just using them with what service it is and where you are. So those are the tips and tricks that I wanted to go over with you. Um, and this is what I do for a living. So I'm creating this video for you to help you start generating leads online. You do have a small online presence, but building that website really, really helps. Um, if you do find yourself having any questions, concerns, uh, you want more information, please reach out. I'm always available for you. And if you found that this information was helpful and you don't want to do it yourself, you know, I'm more than happy to talk about your goals and see what, see what research I need to do to find out exactly what could be realistic for your business and what it might take to reach those goals. All I ask is uh, for some feedback to see if I could help you out. Again, my name is Scott Walker. Feel free to reach out. Uh, thanks for, so much for watching. I really hope this helps your business and yourself learning about you know how your online presence can be so beneficial for you. And uh, have a great day.